going to do another reading and a look at Mulvaney. Okay, what's up with Mulvaney? He just creeps me out every time I look at that guy. It's just like he is such a slimy... <laughs> He's got that energy that's like, you know, like almost pedophile type energy. Just really sticky, slimy, you know. I don't want to know what's what's really under there because uh, Mulvaney just gives me the creeps. Um, kind of one of those energy that makes your skin crawl, you know. <laughs> when you look at him, it's like, <laughs> so what's with Mulvaney and uh, protecting Trump and his tax returns and this nonsense that he's saying, you know? What's with Mulvaney? I'm going to do one reading, and then I'm going to do another reading. Let's see, Mulvaney. The Tower Master. This is him as a person. Shake him up. Okay. Again, like another anarchist. Crash and burn. Okay. That's who he is as a person. The tower, crash and burn. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> His mood. Oh, the page. I'm, I'm going to do this energy. I'm going to protect Trump. It's my duty. Okay. Again, that kind of almost the knight in shining armor. I'm going to be out there to save the day. He really sees that he is, you know, running interference. What's and what's going between aid or an aid or a uh, distraction is that he's working on this behind the scenes for all he is worth. He is going to work it for all he is worth. Okay. Yeah, above it. I know who's buttering my bread. And I'm getting all of this because of King Midas that's on the throne there. Okay. He's giving me all this opportunity. And I, I worship him because look at everything he's got. I don't care how he got it. He got it. He's my hero. Okay. He really sees Trump as his hero. It looks like he, in a way, idolizes him. Ew. Okay. So what we, you know, that's the situation. The situation at hand is, the present situation is Trump. He's going to protect Trump. You know, and he's crash and burn. I'll do whatever is necessary. He is really like a mafia bo mafioso uh, enforcer, okay? Okay, uh, Trump is the Don. I go bend down, kiss his ring, and I'm the enforcer, okay? And he's really got himself wrapped up in that, emotionally in that role, okay? <laughs> so, you know, uh, how to deal with the situation, possible ways to deal with the situation. Well, all this stuff is coming down, okay? All this action is being taken. Okay. So he's going to be, uh, and I don't know, this could be either the uh, Congress, there are a lot of, women or people that are looking, Democrats that are looking, uh, and this is an emotional issue, 
they're wanting the truth, you know. They're coming out uh, with swords blazing and saying, you know, we're, we're not backing down. We want the truth. We want the information. Okay. This could also be him. In emotionally, he's going to protect it by any means possible. Let's see what the next card is. Okay. Yeah, no, he knows this has to do with Russia money. Okay. Russia money. And that investigation, when it comes out, is going to take Trump down. He knows it. He knows that in those tax returns, there will be enough to hang him on money laundering, etc. All these connections, backdoor dealings that Trump has had with overseas, overseas things. And he knows this is coming down the pike. Okay. So uh, what's coming up in the near future? Again, he's starting this energy. He started it. He's in this emotional thing about it. And here he is again. I'm going to stand the ground. He's going to do whatever he can to railroad it. You know, uh -uh. I'm standing guard here. You're not getting through. You're not getting through. I'm going to use whatever means I can to block it. Okay. What we have is, yeah, this is coming down the pike. It's something being offered to him. He doesn't want it. Okay. This is coming down. He's not happy about it, but he's going to do everything he can to fight it. Okay. Let's see what's his past past he's been his past has been to be an enforcer of action he's been very good in his past i don't know what he did before but he he is a person of action he will he's always taken action before put things into place subconsciously <laughs> This is interesting. Subconsciously, though, I think he knows he doesn't have a leg to stand on. And he knows eventually Trump is going down. This weighs on him at night. But he's going to be all bravado and everything. And he's going to stall it for as absolutely long as he can. Mulvaney, the staller. Okay. He is going to try to stall it for as long as he can. Yeah, he thinks he's going to disarm them for a time. He thinks he can be he that he can be uh, uh, superior in the court system. Okay. He thinks he's got the. Uh, ability to do that. Again, he started it and he's going to continue to ride that horse for all it's worth. He's going to ride it for as long as he can. Cup in hand. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, he's got an emotional connection with this. And I guess he's been, you know, a page of wands. We get all these pages. Page of cups, page of swords, page of wands. He's, I don't think he's got a lot of depth emotionally. And he really kind of idolizes Trump for what he's been able to do, no matter how dark and nefarious it is. Okay? And so he wants to carry that action forward. I think he'd like to be like Trump. Ew. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. He's all about the pages, the knights, the opportunity. You know, he wants to be like Trump. He idolizes Trump. Ew. Oh, Lord. Lord. 
just wonder what is wrong with these people. Mulvaney, he's just like so creepy. So creepy. So. Uh, well, that's in a bit, that's kind of a surprise that he really kind of worships Trump. And it, it's like, it's like he thinks he's in the mafia and uh, he's the, like an enforcer, you know, that it's a, he's an enforcer. Uh, it's just creepy. So let me see how can I write this? How successful will Mulvaney be with hiding Trump's taxes? Will Mulvaney be successful in hiding Trump's taxes? Will Mulvaney be successful in hiding Trump's taxes? Okay, he's going to come out with the sword. He's going to try. Ooh. But what's crossing it is disappointment. Maybe it's not going to go as well as he thinks. Underneath of it all, there's going to be a fight concerning it. Yeah, the Democrats and stuff in the House, you know, the Oversight Committee, they're not going to let this go easily. And, you know, higher power, they're, they're in the right. They are not going to let this go. Okay, let's see what we've got going into it. Yeah, trying to hold on to, in the past, holding on to all this stuff, going into it, trying to hold on to whatever it is that they have. Um, uh Underneath of it, foundation is he is worried as heck how this is going to go. I think he keeps feeding Trump the the illusion that he's going to be able to hide this, okay? Because he already knows the end is Trump is going to go down when they get that above it. Yeah, this is a painful situation, okay? Painful situation. Is he going to be able to hide it? Going forward, he's going to do all he can, charging forward for as long as he can to, again, try to uh, hide this thing. Uh, when it comes to Trump's assets, he thinks, he thinks that for a time he can stall it. He can disarm it, you know, disarm the investigation. Crossing the moon. He'll do whatever underhanded thing he can get away with. Okay. And I think he's telling Trump, you know, this. He's telling Trump, yeah, we can get away with this. We can. We, you know, we're, we're going to get away with it. Okay. <laughs> but above it, heartache. Ah, oh, yeah. Heartache. Yeah, no, this is going forward. This will be going forward. Okay. And it's not something, when this is going forward, this is out of control. It's not something that's going to be in his control. Okay. In that chariot picture, they are not controlling the chariot. They're sitting up there on their throne. <laughs> the chariot's just going. Okay. As far as his fighting and everything, yeah. Now, you know, they've got the comfortable thing, um, but, 
yeah, no, he's not going to be able to uh, hide those assets. Let's do one more card on there. Pentacle. No, they're going to continue. This is what's in the other reading. They're going to continue to fight to get that to get that information. Okay. Let's see if we have something else here. Oh. Yeah. Dirty money. Dirty money. Okay. All the things they've been working on behind the scenes with their little anvil of of uh, creating dirty money, okay? Three of Cups, all of those, they're in relationship, you know. Again, I think it has to do with money laundering, where they've run away, where they, you know, they, they haven't been honest in anything. They're walking away from... Um, from doing what they're supposed to do, and the world is going to see it. The world is just going to come out. This is going to come out. You know? But again, he's going to stand at the door and defend it for as long as he can. But it will come out. Yeah. Tower. Tower. Towers happening. So, again, um, Mick Mulvaney is going to do all he can to skew it because he knows in both readings it's telling me when this comes out, really this is going to be kind of the nail in the coffin for Trump. Okay? And I'm sure that in uh, New York they've already got the tax returns they're looking at that it's going to get there they are going to get him on rico i keep saying they're going to get trump on rico running a criminal enterprise and he has been doing it for years and years and years okay and all these sealed indictments that are waiting in the wings all have to do with trump and his little enclave of demon spawn children okay and they're waiting to take them all down okay so i'm gonna leave this here uh good luck mulvaney we'll see how long he'll be able to stave them off but eventually they will get his taxes and it will be trump's undoing so he said from the beginning they're gonna get him on money laundering long-term money laundering okay financials the way they've taken down mobs for years tax evasion okay how many mob bosses were taken down for tax evasion for cheating on their taxes. And how many times has Trump inflated everything to get loans and then deflated it when it come to pay his taxes? He's going down. Rico, mark my words. <laughs>